Oh, my swing speed was definitely not down on that one. Holy crap. All right. What we have in front of us is the long-awaited Ping G430 Max, and I have the LS over there. We're going to be testing both of those. Um, from what I heard, it makes a different sound. Thank God. I think the 425 drives a lot of people insane with the sound, so when we get to actually test that, that's one of the, the acoustics are one of the things I'm going to be looking at. But from what I hear also, the forgiveness is very good. So that's one of the things that I know Ping has done. That's why a lot of people don't want to get off the 425 is that it's extremely accurate. I'm interested to see if it brings another level to the 425, maybe a little distance. Just no sound, no, no loud sound, please. But other than that, when we come back, we are going to hit the Ping Max and the Ping L, uh, the low spin. So that, stay tuned. The Ping G430 Max. Interested to see how accurate this is. So No, oh, my swing speed was definitely not down on that one. Holy crap. Whew. Get out there. Can I draw? 275 high RP. Dear God. I can't miss with this club. So even though I'm not getting as much distance as the other clubs or the what I've seen, you're, you can't miss a fair with this thing. Now we're going to tell, check the LS, uh, LST, the low uh, spin. Um, after swinging the max, now I have pretty high standards for this. So let's go right into the swings. That was ripped. Good shot. Good. This thing just doesn't miss the fairway. That's a complete miss it, I'm literally, what, 10 yards off center, 273 middle of parallel. I have literally hit that same spot about three times in a row now. You know what, screw it, let's try to make it four. And yes, that was a miss it. I'm not even upset because if you're really thinking about this, what's more important, hitting a 300 out of bounds or having a fairway shot every single time? I don't even know what to say at this point. This is the most, this is the most consistent club I've ever hit. I've hit that same fucking spot five times in a row. We're gonna go back to the house and we are really gonna rate this because don't be shocked if this club somehow ends up in my bag. I've never been this consistent. Going back to back to back to back to back shots in the same exact spot. I mean, that is very hard to do with a driver. So for me, you lose a little distance. I'm hitting from the fairway every time. It's gonna make sense of the dispersion. The dispersion, I cannot wait to see. So next time you see it, we will go uh, We'll go through the numbers, go through the data, and then I'll give you uh, the G430's uh, final rating. Okay. We are back at the house. We're going to go through the Ping uh, G430 Max. We're going to go through the data. Um, I'm just kind of laughing because I took a look at the dispersion, and it is the funniest thing ever for me. Um, let's just say that. I was highly, I was very pleased. But before we do anything with data, if you like what I do, what I'm doing for the community, and if you like my reviews, not just on golf clubs, as well as other YouTube channels, hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna be doing this forever and ever and ever. And I hope you like the content. And you know, if put in the comments what type of content you would like me to review. Besides that, let's go right into the data. This is the standard. So I'm looking at this. The club speed consistency is very low. That's a good thing. That means I was I was consistent the entire time on my swing speed. You know, could I have, you know, at a, at a higher speed, could I have put it this, uh, a lot more distance on it? Yeah. I mean, for this one, I put it out 278. 
Yeah, but is that 274 and a high, you know, at a higher ball speed when I was hitting it a little better? Yeah. I was able to do anything I wanted. The spin rate was a little high. I was getting underneath this. Launch angle is high. You can tell by that. So I definitely lost distance, probably just getting used to the uh, the club itself and the, and the, uh, the swing. But, I mean, for me, I was ranging between about 265 to about 275 with this. A little shorter than what I'm used to. But I'm gonna tell you right now. I'll save it for the end. There's there's certain things that I'm taking into heavy consideration because I'm looking at this. You know, I know I can fix that spin rate. I know I can fix that launch angle. Smash factor probably just wasn't. I wasn't hitting center of the club on some of them. But you know, 267 on a, on a .8 on an average carry is a little low for me. Um, let's go directly to the LS, the low spin. So this wasn't such a low spin. I was actually getting underneath it. Um, consistency of club speed was good. Ball speed was good. I was, you know, I got 278 on a good hit, put it out 300. Um, a few, I had, a, I had one bad miss hit. So, you know, we honestly should probably just take this out. So on the carry on the low spin on average, I was around 267. Um, going down the list. Total, 282. So you're like, oh, Mike, you know, you're, you sound pretty positive. The launch angle was lower. The spin rate, I think I was just coming a little high on it. I was a few grooves off on the, maybe on the driver face, a little high. This only tells one side of the story. What tells the real story is this. Please tell me that, you know, for the LS, I literally, even with the shot that I took out, I think the shot was like right here. They all landed in the same freaking spot. And then with the Ping uh, G40, uh, G430 Max, I was playing more of a draw. I was playing my normal draw with it. And I was in such a small area here. I felt like I could hit the damn back of the club and put it somewhere within 10 to 15 yards of that center line. So the dispersion to me tells an entirely different tale. You know, you go here and you're like, well, that's not large distance. Well, I'm hitting from the fairway every single time. That to me is much more important than hitting getting stuck in the rough. So what I'm going to do now is we're going to get off the data and we're going to go to my overall rating. And I'm going to give you the pros, the cons, and then what I think about this club overall. My overall rating for the Ping G430 Max and the LS. So, I was hitting that club like I owned it already. I was highly impressed. Not a distance. The distance was lower. My distance with my Rogue is around 275, 280. I was between about 265 to 275 with this, with a few that I could put out of 280. I felt like if I actually got used to the club or hitting it on a club phase, I could put that around two, you know, 275, 280 consistently. The one thing that I found that it is by far number one in was consistency and accuracy, both categories. That dispersion told a whole different story at one point where I hit the ball five times in a row and I was in a small area spot, I would I couldn't miss a fairway. That was with the LS, with the Max. I was getting my draw every single time. If I wanted to play a fade with that, I could. If I really wanted to bat lefty and hit that damn thing, I probably could hit it lefty and not miss the fairway. I could not miss the fairway with this club. And I'm gonna be honest, my overall rating, even though I am playing the Rogue, and I'm fairly consistent at hitting the fairway, fairly consistent and overly consistent of hitting that fairway are two different things on tougher courses. I play in Florida. I play some of the toughest courses down here where the rough makes a large difference and it gets very sticky. That ping G430 Max or LS may end up in my bag. And that is the honest truth on that. I have never felt so con in control of a club before where I had basically a baseball sized dispersion on one data sample, which to me was amazing. And you know how many shots I had to take out? None. 
literally all the data you're seeing is all the shots I hit. And I didn't have to hit too many because that's how comfortable I felt at a dress swinging this club. The forgiveness, I hit it on the heel a lot. I hit it on the toe. I hit it in the square in the face. It still went to exactly where I wanted to go. So do I think this is an upgrade for me? Yes. The question is, is it better than the G425? Acoustically, a hundred times better. Sounds a million times better. Overall look, aesthetics, a hundred times better. Do I think it is overall better than the G425 when it comes to consistency and accuracy? I feel like they're the same. So for me, I may invest in it because I'm not playing the ping uh, 425 right now. And if you are, I would suggest if you want to just change it for you know the acoustics and the aesthetics, then you get it. But if you are consistently playing, if you're playing the, the, the 425 right now, I would not change to the G430 because they do the same thing. I don't think there's really any major technology changes besides the turbos on the top, the turbulent, uh, tur whatever, turbulators, they're a little bigger. I mean, for me, I guess a completely different brand, I saw a large difference where the 425 to the 430, you're not going to see a major difference. In reality, that's how good the 425 actually is. And that's just how good Ping has been in the last two years. So, other than that, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit it below because I want to continue to put out these reviews, honest reviews. I'm not sponsored. Don't care for it. For me, I'm going to give you the best of my ability to test these clubs and tell you what I personally feel and think. And as always in these reviews, I keep it real!